Hey guys, what's up? Underdog here. Uh, this is the end of the first series on this channel. Gaming series, at least. We're not including Mindscape, um, because that hasn't ended yet. Yeah, it's, it's kind of crazy to, uh, to think I posted the first episode of this about a year ago. I had to take a break recently from editing and making videos, so... I lost a few subscribers in that time, so if you want to help me compensate for that, please do consider subscribing. It means a lot. And uh, to all of you the, that have been there since the first episode was posted, that also means an extraordinary amount. Uh, it's it's crazy. Um, if you're new to the channel, or if, you, if you've been here and you haven't subscribed yet, please do consider it. It really helps me a lot. And um, by the way, congrats on 100, Jacob. All right, so where do we want to start? Layable beds, sittable chairs, uh, portals. Um, let's go check out the layable I beds. I did not at all accidentally explode a tree. I did not do that. All right, so I, you need to teach me how to do this because I've never done this. I, I still need to learn. All right. So you gotta place your slab under your bed, right? And then we're gonna have to break these two blocks and that block. So we sort of have like a person gap, all right? This makes room for our minecart, and we, uh, we're gonna put a rail right here and a rail right here, and then we can put minecart. And we're just gonna kick it down, and it's just gonna land in there. And you can ride in the minecart, and Jacob, tell me how it looks. Looks good, actually, I think it looks good. You guys can see, I'm under the bed, I'm in, under the covers. Yeah, nay, look at me, yay. He's in the bed. All right, yep, so that's the um, label bed. Are you going to the subscribe to your usual world or are you going to the village over here? I'm going to subscribe. I think you forgot something, buddy. What? Turn on those notifications. <laughs> Okay, here we go guys, we found our village. All right, so this is where our portal is going to be. Actually, we're gonna wanna place that like so, like so, and then place that like so, and then place that like so. And so guys, what you're gonna wanna do is, your coordinates are gonna be different from mine, but what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go to settings, you're gonna wanna go to show coordinates, and you're gonna wanna turn that on, okay? We could actually build this further into the ground, I feel like. All right. So we're gonna turn that on repeat and always active. And we're going to hit test for no space. I always mess that up. I always have space. Test for at P. And then you're gonna have a square bracket. And then you're gonna have x equals and then your first number because that's your um because that's your x-axis your numbers are right up there if you didn't see them before um your numbers will appear there do not use my numbers because i'm just at a random spot in my world you'll be at a random spot in your world it makes a huge difference oh yeah comma and then you're gonna have r equals one so that's just changing it so that command block output equals false, meaning that we won't get any command block outputs. So now you'll see, once we wait for my chat to clear, your thing will now light up, but your chat will not blow up. Genius. Is, yeah, so I'm gonna go kill myself as well. Let's see if this roof is high enough to kill someone. Oh, you're right. Um. Oh, I'm still in survival. We gotta say TP, short for teleport, at P, that's referencing player, at P. Yes. Then you gotta type in all of your coordinates in order. 12. So now, we won't have to worry about Pesky going back and forth. Actually, we kinda will, still. So. 
But you see, if that works like I think it should, we should teleport inside of my closet. Hi. Hi, I'm gonna go kill myself again. Yay, can I push you this time? Yeah, sure. Survival. <laughs> you lagged out so badly for me. Uh, yeah, dude, we're gonna need to get me back on the roof. Why? Did you respawn back in the house? Yeah. No, I, I respawned in the villager's house, but then I walked into the teleporter. You idiot. You're gonna want, once again, test for... Ten years later. R equals... One. Square bracket. Next. Boom. Alright, so let us test if this doth work. Okay, yeah, it doth work. Um, TP at P, and we're gonna go look at our uh, screenshot that we took. Tell you that I, I won an online tournament of, of 32 people. Yeah. I'm Super Smash Bros. Negative 267. That's cool, man. That's cool. Yes, I've I never actually competed in an online tournament. In the Donkey Kong, I faced, like, he, was, he got second. He, he said, I looked. He said you look tough. I mean, you know how you can say messages before certain things? He said he said that I look tough. Okay, that's it. That's the working portal, guys. And could you add me? Are you guys in survival or not? We're gonna love editing this video, aren't we? Oh, sure are. Oh, uh, yeah. How much you... Do you make a new video? We've been making oh, 40. Oh, what have I done? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. Well, Alright, yo, guys. I actually have to go, because I have to go on with my martial arts video. Okay. Yeah, well, Jacob's leaving right at the, um... Actually, this is kind of the middle of the video. Yeah, but uh, it, was, it was fun making the videos, and, uh... Yeah, see ya. Yeah. Bye. Bye. And that's the last you're going to see of him yeah. ever again. I'm going to be copying all the details from the walls that I can. Which actually, these need to be pink. Okay. Actually, no, that's not pink terracotta. What is that? And it's like you're walking into the same house. So it will present the optical illusion that you're walking from in here over into this villager's house and you'll be in an entirely new village. Of course, that's the idea. Now, we've got our portals and our beds and everything, but now is the moment that we said we would do episode three, Simple Chairs. Yep, you just gotta crouch on them, that's all you gotta do. But, um, so you're going to, you're gonna take an anvil, you're gonna put that right there, and then you're gonna have spawn eggs, and you're gonna put those spawn eggs in here, and you're gonna rename it. I already renamed it. Chair one, and then you're also gonna have like chair two and chair three and stuff, depending on how many chairs you want. Ah. This is the first chair, so this is gonna be chair one. Credit to Mine Age for this design. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna break out in front of here. Boom, boom, break these two. Place a command block, put that code in, and yeah, that's that's done. You gotta change that to repeat, always active, boom. And then you're gonna grab your saddle, and then you're gonna hit saddle, and you're gonna place that in front of there, and then you just gotta make them invisible. But to do that, we're going to uh, mine down, a couple, and we're going to 
place another command. And then in here, put that command in. We're going to change it to, not chain, repeat, repeat. And always active. What should happen is you should see the pig is now gone. This is what we want. I'm gonna grab some glowstone to fix up that patch. Look, and it's exactly a full bar of inventory to do this. How great is that? All right, and then you're going to hit mount. It's, it's strange, it's a little bit wonky. All right, but that's okay. Oh yeah, I also changed my skin. I forgot about that. But it, it looks great when you're sitting here. It really does give you a bit more sense of scale for the room. Because it is, it is massive. It's pretty, it's pretty huge. Yep, now we've got two spots you can sit over here. And then I think we're going to add another one spot you can sit over here. Just got to name it chair three. All right, third chair is done. Man, this room actually, this is a very nice house. I, it's just hard to, it's hard to just realize and not forget, I don't know, that this is really a fantastic house. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Boop. Boop. And boop. Huh. We really should light up the house a little bit better. Oh well, that's for another time. You guys can do that if you want. And there's a hole in the wall. I'll ignore that. Also, <laughs> I completely forgot about this. This has just been sitting here this entire time. Our shed, our nether shed. We should just build a giant nether portal in here. That would be pretty awesome. Blackstone really is such a nice block. All my coral has died. What happened? I ran into a bit of an issue here, all right? So for some reason, when I put it by the redstone block, whether it needs redstone or not, it, it's always deactivated. So, simple solution? I'm not sure why this happens, but I'm just going to put it somewhere else. Yeah, see if this works. And it, uh, it seems to have worked. I, I just put it down there instead of by the redstone. And, uh, as you can see, if we, uh, throw that on there, throw chair seven, saddle, and then mount. I really like sitting at these tables that have, like, the food and the pussy. I don't know, something about it just feels nice. It's also the first place I've ever used a simple chair, so. Him. All right, well, we are done. Awesome. So, as an optional, if you guys are copying this build, the uh, the rug on the inside you may have noticed changed. I uh, kind of got bored doing this because it was nine chairs. That's a lot of command blocking. 
I got bored about halfway through and just decided to do something in here because it looked a little bit empty. Having the, having the colored rug definitely, definitely fills up the space a little bit. So I thought to finish off the series, we would um, take a step back and just look at everything, take a tour of everything, and uh, have, a, have a texture pack and some shaders on while we did it. Um, so here's the pool. Some cucumbers look very nice. Um, I, I don't think my shader is working. Uh, the water's supposed to be different. The only thing that changed is the wood, and I don't know why. So here is the campfire area, the campfire pit. And we're able to sit at our table and enjoy all of our food. You can see the <laughs> the command box sticking up there. You can look at all the, I guess the leaves also changed their texture. That's pretty cool. I really hope you guys enjoyed this series as a whole. It was, um, it was really fun to make it. It was nice getting to spend some time with my friends, and this project is really what mainly taught me to edit. It was the first one I really put a lot of effort into on the channel um, in terms of editing. Of course, I put a lot of work into filming and writing Mindscape, but editing wasn't that difficult. So yeah, this is it. This is the first series to ever be completed. Shoot. And I'll come back to that later, because I do want to show off the attic one last time. This is the only place where the shaders made a noticeable difference. It's right here in the attic. Anyway. Thank, uh, thank you all. Shoot. Why is it Thank you all for watching, and um, I'll see you all later. Goodbye.